When we day here, they find rice and, and chicken. Where we go shop for Christmas. As we the planner will take celebrate, the planner will take some money by Christmas cloth for our children. Some witchcraft there somewhere. The planner they want to go people village go kill them. On Sunday night, where will they shout to happy washing night so tomorrow that Christmas so somewhere in Plato State. Fifteen communities were being attacked simultaneously. If you goggle the meaning of simultaneously, it means at the same time. Fifteen communities. The bandits attack them, killing anybody they see, burning houses, looting food stuff, as I'm talking to you now. Over 115 dead bodies now that all count. And the death tolls are still rising. Now the one that all see be that. And the reason why we say 115, now because that is the official figure where Governor Mufuan give. He said, as vigilante, they enter bush, they are seeing people, and they have seen at least 150. Some other newspapers, like um, Daily Trust, reported 145. So if in fact we don't know exactly how much, but we can. The death toll. In the latest coordinated attacks on the plates, who has risen to over 115, the state governor, Governor Caleb Mufuang, has said. A grieving Governor Mufuang, who spoke on China's television, Sunrise Daily on Tuesday, said the attacks were unprovoked and taxed security agents to unravel the sponsors of the carnage and their blood-tested food soldiers. Just when we had finished preparations for Christmas, unprovoked attacks were unleashed on our communities. A somber face moved Wang narrated the blood calling simultaneous attacks by assailants on over 15 communities in the Bokos and parking Ladi local government areas of the states on Christmas Eve. Several houses were set ablaze by the attackers on Sunday night. The gun wielding and blood calling men also looted farm produce and destroyed properties as they butchered the residents. As I'm talking to you, in Mangu local government alone, we buried 15 people. As of this morning, in Bokos, we are counting over 100 corpses, not to talk of that of back in Ladi. The governor said the attacks were unprecedented and monumental, noting that though the assailants intended to break the spirit of the people and pull down the two local governments, the spirit of the people on the plate will remain unfazed. Mufuang, however, said the response time by security agents, especially the men of the Nigerian army, can be better. The governor also said the attacks were unconnected to land disputes between Aboriginal dwellers and marauding terrorists. He warned that the people attacked could defend themselves, but it might get to a time that the people might not be able to restrain themselves from defending themselves and their land against the assailants. Every time when these attacks happen, he gets some steady English way with the air. The government condemns. The government condemns. Security agencies have been taxed to fish out the perpetrators. We are always crying after the head is off. These attacks were going on. Security agents were called. And the time of investigation took a while. Many people don't die. Go. Now, Governor Mufuan, they say, very soon, the people will start to defend themselves. What is very soon? If government, Nigerian government, know, they that not secure people. May they leave people, may they feel carry gun, so that they can secure themselves. Because the best these communities have are vigilantes, where they use some um, uncommon guns. And these bandits, from the look of things, they are well armed, sophisticated. The even military is finding it hard to so come face to face with them. From the news on newspapers, they overwhelmed the security in those villages. Fifteen. Yeah, because for bandits to be able to attack 15 communities, we are talking of hundreds of them. Where does these people live? How do they keep these weapons? How do they wield these weapons? And governments have not been able to fish them out. Years after years, we keep complaining the same thing. Is it a crime to be a Nigerian? 
Because we will end up with the angel with a short life. Others are suffering. Recently, we have been counting cases of kidnappings in Lagos. The figures are going high, which means the insecurity they blow up small, small. If we don't nip it in the pot very soon, none of us will be sleep for this country again. 